Hello friends, Astrology and Manish. In this video, we will be talking about Joe Biden. Lots of emails, lots of questions, lots of concerns. I will try to go very slow so that you can understand it. Before reading the chart of Joe Biden, I will also read the chart of United States of America. It's very important to understand where US stands now and what is about to come and about Joe Biden. I did a video on Donald Trump. If you have not watched it, I will put a link under the description. Please watch it. But before I start this video, I have a message for you. Please listen to that message for two minutes with your heart and your soul. And then we'll start the topic of this video. That is Joe Biden, President Joe Biden. So stay tuned. Before I start this video, I would like to humbly thank you all of you for your immense love, respect and gratitude towards my channel. I am nothing without you. You are the heart and soul of my channel or of my astrology, what I am passing on to you. God has given me the responsibility or I am the chosen one to be a bridge between you, between the world and the people to spread this information, the knowledge of the secret science of astrology, which is miraculously accurate which is so scientific, which is so in depth and it is so intriguing. Once you start listening about astrology or reading about astrology, especially the Vedic astrology, you will see that the things become so clear in your mind and how much it gravitate pulls you towards its own energies, what the Vedic astrology creates. It really envelops or gravitates your mind. It affects your pineal gland right in the middle where your soul exists, your subconscious changes. So as a guru is nothing without its disciple, I am nothing without you. You are the heart and soul of my channel and I pray and wish to Goddess Baglamukhi. The Das Mahavidyas, Goddess Baglamukhi is the, is the one of the most potent power of Das Mahavidyas. I always worship and pray to Goddess Baglamukhi for your betterment for your removal of sufferings. If you are morally correct, anything you do astrologically, any remedies, be it be gemstones, rudrakshas, mantras, pujas, if you are morally correct, these things will change your life, transform you in and out. So again, do good karmas, stop hatred, and you will see with the grace of Goddess Bhaglamukhi, who is always behind me, who is always with me, whose power has literally given me the divine science and opened up the, the channels of enlightenment in my subconscious. And this is what you will feel when you worship Devi Bhaglamukhi and also learn the Tantric Vidyas and the Astrology Vidyas. Tantra is a technique which says that the whole universe is an energy grid. If you know which energy grid is connected to which energy grid, you can reverse engineer and do anything with those energies. Just like your computer chip, a small computer chip, GPU, CPU, 1MM, 1MM, it has millions of transistors connected with each other. The circuit board of your electric diagrams or your electric boards, everything is connected. Universe has the same energies. And everything is connected with the energy pyramid and the grid. Egyptians knew it, Sumerians knew it, Anunnakis knew it, Vedic culture, Sanatan Dharam, Indians knew it. And then it spread to China, to, uh, to Myanmar, to Tibet, Buddhism. They did lots and lots of research on Vedic astrology and Vedic science. This is a real science. What you are, we are living in this world is all artificial manifestation of artificial 3D animation, which we think it's real, but actually it's not real. It's just a bubble. So my dear friends, again, my hand folded thank you to everybody who has been to my channel, subscribed it, liked it, watched it, shared it, that you are doing the absolutely right karmas of your life. Absolutely right karmas of your life. And I wish you super success in your life. Ashto Tashtatanam Namna Bagla Yastu Yapadet 
रिपु बाधा विनिर्मुक्ता लक्ष्मी स्थरिया वाम याद भूत प्रेत पिशाच ग्रह पीड़ा निवारणम राजानो वश में यंती सर्वेश्वर चविधाती नाना विद्या चलावते राज्या प्राणोपति निश्चितम भुक्ति मुक्ति वापनोति साक्षात शिव सामो भावे God is Bangla Mufi, but God is Bangla Mukhi should remove all your sins, sufferings, and give you the enlightenment. I have just read the Strotram of God is Bangla Mukhi, and this Strotram is the energy pool or the major capacitor or the transformer of this energy grid which is connected the whole universe. So please. Do good karmas and always, always stay happy and be peaceful towards yourself and towards the people whom you meet, whom you are connected with. We all are coming from the one source. We all are connected with one source. Our soul is all coming from the one ocean belt which is connected to the supreme, supreme, supreme God. So we are not different. We are all same, same, same branches of the one individual tree. If you cut any branch, you are cutting yourself. If you are spreading hatred, you are spreading hatred towards yourself. If you are killing somebody, you are killing your own self. So that's the reason. I am the guru who is giving you the right knowledge, education and spreading this information. So that you can let go your sins and sufferings and achieve the moksha of this life. So let's get back to our topic of this video. So let's look at the chart of United States first so that we can highlight some few things before we go into the Joe Biden's chart also. Here is the chart of United States and the time on birth is 4th July 1776, 6.30 p.m. Pennsylvania. And you see it's a... It's a birth chart of Sagittarius ascendant. So Sagittarius is a dual sign. Dual means versatile, neither jittery nor very much fixed. So it is a very good sign. 3, 6, 9, 12, all the dual signs are considered to be very versatile and very adaptive. Jupiter rules this sign and see Jupiter is sitting in 7th house. And 7th house is so much powerful. The ascendant lord itself sitting in 7th house. It demonstrates that the activity of this country will go into partnerships, collaborations, and also actively suppressing the opponents. Seventh is house of your opponent, seventh is house of your partnerships, seventh is house of your relationship, your foreign affairs, and also this is the house of your foreign policies and your collaborations with your allies. So Jupiter is a very good planet and expansion of this country will come only through their allies, through their collaborations. Mars sitting in sixth house, it demonstrates that 12th Lord sitting in sixth house, that United States might have to be actively deploying its army, 6th house of army, in many foreign places to contain their opponents. And this is what they have been done. They have been doing it since World War II or even before that. And then Venus sits in air, 11th Lord Venus sits in 7th house, victory over opponent, victory over opponent. Their best strength is suppressing their opponent at a very powerful, fierce force through diplomacy, through sanctions and through war and deployment of troops also. Sun, which is the lord of their ninth house of fortune and which also com demonstrates their, their communication and their foreign travels and the import exports, it's also sitting in seventh house. That means they have a, always sitting in the position of a power to put sanctions of import exports to any country in the world. Saturn sitting in air demonstrates that also, that they can challenge the ideology and they can challenge any country with through their means what they have second and third lord saturn sitting in ninth house it demonstrates that they are very well very much aware about which country they would like to have their communication or dealings going on and which they can put under the sections sanctions so ultimately this house rahu shows them my way no way highway sitting with jupiter sun that they really want to act in their way from the position of strength so the position of strength with, with all these planets in 7th house demonstrate very easily that United States, what we know it right now and what it has been from last 200 years is all because of the 7th house of business, trade, foreign policy, foreign affairs and their 
position of strength in suppressing their opponents. Rahu and Sun, I know it's an eclipse, but Rahu, Jupiter, when sits with this eclipse, it nullifies it. So a lot of power, what United States has through their allies' collaborations. It's very easy. You can see this chart. And they are also born in the nakshatra of Rahu. So when Ju Ra United States were formed, they got their independence. So you see it is in the Satabisha, nakshatra moon, which, cause, which means that Rahu becomes the most important planet. It's a planet which is their nakshatra lord. So their first Mahadasha started from Satabisha nakshatra Rahu. And, uh, and Rahu plays a very important role in their chart, which demonstrates their, their strength and position of power that they are not easily bendable country. They really want to go and do things as they want it, especially in the matters of the foreign affairs, in the matters of the foreign policies. Now, if you understand this thing, the Dasha, you see they are going under the, the Dasha. The first Dasha was Rahu when they started as an independent country. And then Rahu Dasha also came during 1895 till 1913. This is the period, again Rahu sits in 7th house, in the Lagna it's sitting in 8th house. It shows the period of transformation and lots of partnerships and partnerships, allies, allies, I'm just trying to spell it, and then a lot of their annexures. And if you go back into the history, like Rahu is in the Dasha and Rahu activates 7th house, 8th house is also transformation technology also. So Rahu will activate these houses, 7 mainly because it's ha happening in the Gaspal chart. And if you go and read the history, you go and read the history of 1897 till 1913, what all happened. You will understand that how astrology is showing the same thing. See, 1913 and 18, 1897, we were in the period of Roosevelt, Roosevelt, their, their president, and also in the period of Taft. And you see what happens. The dollar diplomacy happened here. Economic culture and connections, an extra of Hawaii happened here. You see there was Spanish-American war happened here. You see the, um, the, the course of war where they had a problem with the Japan also. And then you see the peace treaties, they have a problem with Philippines and they had an extra, but they have a problem with Cuba, which they ultimately won all these issues. They had many issues with Cuba, Puerto Rico. And then if you read this old Venezuela crisis, it happened during the same time. And then ultimately they went into the World War I also during the same period. So look at the history and this history is showing everything what I've been telling you that Rahu position in seventh house is going to bring all these changes whenever the Rahu comes into its Dasha. Seventh is all about annexures, allies, military deployments, my way, highway, no way, with the foreign policies. They don't want to bend. They want to literally go and get things done, what they want to do it. Lots of foreign relationships will be activated. And a lot of foreign treaties and annexures will be done whenever the Rahu comes into the picture. So why I'm saying it this to you right now? We, I'm saying this to you now because right now at present as we talk, United States is also going under the period of Rahu. From 2020, 27th of September 2015 till 2033, Rahu is still active, Lee, ruling United States. So Rahu is a planet sitting in 7th house. History will repeat again. And we know when Rahu gets into the nakshatra of Rohini or Saturn, sorry, goes into the nakshatra of Rohini, it starts the world war. Okay, so again, I'll predict the world war three and we know it is going to happen somewhere in 2030. I will do a prediction of world war three. It may start before, but the pinnacle, the highest peak point will be somewhere 2030 when Saturn, Saturn will go into the nakshatra of, of Rohini and here it is. Rohini nakshatra is here and Saturn is somewhere here right now. And it has another four or five years to, to reach to this point. So what is going to happen in the Rahu Dasha? You need to understand this, that United States will go towards a period of transformation again. Eighth is house of technological transformation, medical science transformation, problem challenges. We saw COVID happen during the same time. We saw seventh house is house of allies and partnerships. And the 
the people who are even opponents of United States. And we see how much of highs and lows waves are happening within United States when it comes to their opponents, when it comes to their, their, their partners. And so many people, so many countries, sorry, they have a very mixed emotions and relationship with the United States right now. Some look at the United States as still the power hub, but some see it as the United States as a weak in the power. So why it's happening? It's happening because Rahu wants changes. Rahu wants more collaborations. Rahu wants more aggressive approach when it comes to their foreign policies, when it comes to their opponents, when it comes to their competition. And you know who's their competition. You know that China is playing a big problem to them. Uh, Russia is playing a big problem to them. Now, we, what happened in Afghanistan recently, we know that. Now, who is acting more? Um, we know Iran is now challenging them. We know Lebanon is challenging them. There's so many small and big countries which are actually posing a threat to the United States. And Rahu sitting in 7th house wants what? It wants war. It wants a very aggressive outlook. It wants just what the United States did from 1895 to 1930. Go all out. Go all out. Show your glory. Show your guts. And do the things what you are being supposed to do. Stand towards the power and show your enemies that you always are standing on the side of the power. Do not show your weakness. This is what Rahu wants. And this, if the government of the United States fail to show that, it will be a devastation for the United States. Okay? Devastation. Because Rahu wants it. And I'm sure, you know, United States government, they will act. So, Rahu is the Dasha right now. Going back to the chart. So, along with Rahu, you see Mercury is also joined the power as Antar Dasha. So this is running from 2023 September till March of 2026. And Mercury also sitting in 7th house. So again, this is a period when United States have to take a swift action to collaborate with their allies and suppress the, the challenges what they are seeing from the countries like Russia, like Iran, like Korea, like China. And this is a period where United States have to act with a strong leadership very very strong leadership now let's look at few things about again the chart of united states i'm going to go back since i'm slowly moving towards the chart of joe biden especially about the president if i go to the chart of 2020 2016 just to see what was who could be ruling united states in 2016 and we know in 2017 Trump won the election and he became the president. So I'm going to open the chart of 2016. So 8th of July 2016 till 2017. And you see this is the house of government. And government is ruled by Mars here. And Mars is respecting this house. This shows a very strong leader will come and rule the country. Very strong aggression. Mars is a power, is an aggression. And this is showing that in the next presidential election, ready for a more aggression, a strong leader to run this country, run this country. And this is what happened. United States, they saw Trump joining the, the White House, becoming a president. Now, if you see the chart of 2020, when, uh, when President Trump lost the election and Joe Biden came in, and you see uh, 2020 Tajka chart, annual returns chart, it shows that that in the house of government, there is a soft power. Venus is a soft. The soft power will rule. Because the election happened in 2021 February. So this is a chart which is telling us what will be the govern governorship or the, the administration of United States will start. Because this is happening right before the elections. Venus is soft. And then you see Sun, which is actually the ruler, which is actually the 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 leadership qualities or a planet which rules the whole universe and also demonstrates your governments and your ability to be a leader sitting in 12th house of losses and expected by Saturn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And Saturn is an old planet, old and being retrograde, it is timid also. It has no strength of its own. It is just losing its strength. It is evil, definitely because it's retrograde. But it is showing that old and the 
or the pessimistic look and the approach in the matters of government because it is expecting seventh its seventh aspect is landing on sun on the government and sun is expecting it back they are the biggest enemies saturn and sun and this is soft so this is why and i have a video where i have mentioned in donald trump video why he lost watch that video i'm going to put that link underneath about donald trump this is the reason in 2021 we had a soft power ruling United States. You need to understand this. Soft power. What has happened recently, you know that, in Afghanistan. Why the countries like Korea, Iran, Russia, Yemen, Syria, Jordan are challenging United States. Ask yourself. I have lived in United States many years. U.S. is in my blood, in my veins. I love the country, the people, everything about the United States. But the United States earned its value because of its seventh house of being aggression and how to remove its enemies through sanctions, through diplomatic ways or through wars and the deployment of troops. You need to understand this. So this is a chart of um, Joe Biden, President Joe Biden. So 20th of November 1942, Sacramento, 8 a.m. That is his date and time of birth. He is born as Scorpio ascendant, and Mars is sitting in 12th house with Mercury, very strong. Mercury rules 8th house, so again, definitely, a lot of things which will be hidden in his life, in his career. Again, I don't want to go into the into the conspiracies or anything about negative about him. Looking at Saturn, the Shah, it is good, but not very strong, not much gains, but again. He will continue to live through his reputation and continue to build allies and friendship wherever he is. And um, in within Saturn Dasha, since uh, the next election is coming during the same time, so let's see that. So if we see the Saturn, Saturn, and then Ketu is going on right now. Ketu is also good in his chart. Continuation of reputation and allies and strong network. Venus is bad, so definitely this is a time from November 23 till May of 24, his health will deteriorate. Major health crisis is coming. He will survive, but there will be problem, hospitalization, hospitalization and challenges. So sun is okay, moon is okay, Mars is again bad. So again, problems here. Uh, during the time of election, he will again have lots of health problems and issues. Rahu is okay, Jupiter is okay, Saturn is neutral, it's not showing much things. But if I go beyond Saturn and Saturn Dasha, and we know he is going into the Mercury Dasha, which is definitely not good in his chart. So I don't see him staying actively in the politics beyond 2025. So you see in here, Mercury is, is 2025 till 2028 and Mercury is very, very bad. This is, this is not an active time for him to be in the politics. Comparing his chart with Donald Trump chart, if you have watched the video, he has, <coughs> his chart is not as strong as Donald Trump is. So if they both are up, you know, opponents and standing in opposition of each other for the presidential elections, Trump will win, according to the charts what I have of both individuals. And also, if I go over to the annual chart of uh, Joe Biden, so let me open the chart of Joe Biden here. So that this is a chart of Joe Biden, the birth chart. And if you see in 2020, when he won the elections, uh, you see here, his fifth, his tenth lord is sitting in first house. First is he and son, very strong. Tenth is house of politics. Tenth is house of being administration. Son is sitting here, and then then Mars is expecting Mercury. Mercury is a lord of eleventh house, and Mercury is expecting back Mars. So it is showing very strong signs of winning the elections, or being a winner, because tenth is house of your administration, the government political career and sun is sitting in one sun is your brand ambassador you will be respected as a president sun is giving you all the blessings and everything the empowerment to to go and rule a country and the mercury which is lord of 11th house goes into the 12th but mars strong mars which is ascendant lord in this case is expecting mercury showing one one is you you will be a winner because your lord 11th house of winning is under my aspect, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mercury is not expecting, but Mars eighth aspect is reaching here. So that is a combination again, which shows he won. But does this combination comes back in 2020, 
four. So we're gonna draw a chart of 2024 here because I think the elections are happening in November. So we'll see at the, the closest date is November 20th, 2024 when we chart, when we making this chart. And you see here fifth lot, which is sun sitting in 12th house of losses. 12th house of losses. And then Jupiter, which is a planet which could have held, but it's retrograde. And in a sense, Ascendant Lord, the first house, Lord, which is Mars sitting in 8th house of disappointments. Disappointments and challenges and suffering. Problem. So, looking at this chart of 2024 of Joe Biden and comparing it with the previous chart when he won, this time he is not going to win. This is my accurate predictions. If he goes into the elections, he is, his health may be deteriorating next year. So, maybe he, he actually... Uh, get out of the nomination but if he goes into the nomination through his free will power force he is a scorpion he doesn't let go things he doesn't forgive and forget then um, his chances are very very bleak very very bleak and considering if Donald Trump comes his chart is very strong I can see the charts of other opponents other nominees also I don't know their date of birth time of birth but if you can find it send it to me I will be definitely be looking at their charts and giving you my accurate predictions about who has an edge as a president of United States. But friends, US is known for his aggressive policy. Seventh house, again, go back to US birth chart. If you don't get a, a strong leader, if you get a timid leader who has old school methodologies, United States will be in problem because every day they have made friends, the same day they have made enemies also. The more powerful you are, the more friends you have, but the similarly more enemies you also have. So consider that. And I tell you one thing, in this world where we're living in, if you want to rule, you have to show a deterrent to your opponent. Forget the days of heart melting, spiritual consciousness activating, you know, people will love you. People only love or respect those people who have power who stay on the on the position of power and this is the era where we're living in and you have to accept it us is known for its deterrent policies if they cannot deter their enemies they themselves will suffer so that's why you need a very strong and aggressive leader again i'm not biased towards anyone i'm just giving you my 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 vedic astrology studies and guides and my experience with this with this divine knowledge Devi Bangalamukhi gives you all the happiness. Watch out for my, my offering for all my subscribers. Free Puja, which is happening right after Diwali, a couple of days after Diwali. We will share the videos uh, to my premium subscribers over the WhatsApp. And to all other subscribers, I will give another video of that Puja in my next videos after the Diwali. So happy Diwali to everybody. I will make one more video before Diwali. Maybe I will make a video on the stock market because Moon is entering it's new moon phase and then what is going to happen in stock market, food prices, grains, petrochemicals, bitcoins and everything. Stay tuned my next, to my next video and Devi Bhaglamukhi gives you blessings and she, she will help you get rid of all your sins. I am Astrologer Manish. I shall see you in my next video very soon. Stay happy, stay peaceful and God bless you all. Thank you. To all my channel subscribers, we will perform once every month Devi Baglamukhi Tantric Puja for the welfare of my all subscribers. This is the divine science. This is the divine channel. And this is my offering free of cost to you that once in every month Devi Baglamukhi Tantric Puja, which is the most potent puja in removing the fears, the sins, the sorrows, the challenges, the hidden enemy, and the guilt from your life, including black magic. So do not miss out. Please subscribe to my channel. So your names or your virtual names can be added to the list of that puja. And if you are my premium subscriber, you can email us your WhatsApp number. My team members will send you the videos of that puja over the WhatsApp. This is for the premium subscribers. For normal subscribers, your virtual names or your names will be listed. And this puja will bring tremendous changes in your life. This is my offering to you, your guru, astrologer Manish.
So don't miss out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe it now so that we can put your name in the next puja, which is coming very soon. Thank you.